Question number nine, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Uh, my question is to the Minister for Treaty, Negoti Treaty of Waitangi Negotiations. Does he believe that the signing of the Parehauraki Collective Settlement with the inclusion of redress disputed by Tauranga Moana Iwi is a breach of Te Tiriti or Waitangi? The Mr Speaker, uh, uh, let me emphasise that no deed of settlement has been signed. There is no secret deal. There are difficult overlapping issues that the Minister for Māori Development and I are seeking to address at the present time. Supplementary, Supplementary question, the Honourable Nanaa Mahuta. What advice did he receive to determine that Parihauraki historical interests as set out in the Waitangi Tribunal report equated to contemporary rights under a treaty settlement process and might that advice lead to further contentious precedents? The Honourable Crispin Mason. Well, I'm very conscious of the desire not to have uh, any overlapping interests lead to further contention. Uh, the starting point was the 2004 Tribunal report that referred to the interests of some of the Hauraki iwi in the Tapuna Kati Kati blocks, uh, and that's the issue that I'm trying to address at the present time. Supplementary. Supplementary question, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Is it reasonable for Tauranga Moana to request a tikanga based approach with Parehauraki to determine matters of Whakapapa, Ahika, Mana Whenua, Mana Moana, and Kaitiakitanga to determine a durable outcome for settlement redress options? Uh, the Honourable Chris uh, Yes, most definitely it is, and that's exactly the kind of approach I'm very keen, along with the Minister for Māori Development, to progress, because uh, I can't deal with those matters. I don't have the expertise. I think a tikanga-based uh, approach is an excellent one. Supplementary, will Supplementary question, the Honourable Nanaya Mahita. Will the Minister support the position of the Minister of Māori Development to not sign the Hauraki settlement until all issues currently in dispute with Tauranga Moana Iwi are resolved? The Honourable Chris Van uh, Yes, I will, because uh, I think these are difficult issues. Uh, and the last thing I want to do through a treaty settlement uh, or rushing through a treaty settlement uh, is to create further grievances. These matters need to be handled sensitively and the Minister for Māori Development is doing an excellent job uh, in assisting me in that regard. Supplementary. Supplementary question, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Will he give an undertaking to revisit the Tauranga Moana framework, seeking a fresh terms of reference to assure the Tauranga Moana collective iwi that their mana whenua, mana moana rights have primacy in the planning and decision-making regime for Tauranga Moana. The Honourable Chris Mason. Uh, Mr Speaker, if it helps bring a just and durable conclusion to these difficult issues, I'll certainly uh, look at the, uh, the framework uh, with my colleagues from the Tauranga Moana iwi. Uh, these, as I say, are difficult issues, uh, and I can see that it is the subject of deep feeling, which is why I'm treading very warily at this time.